Hello everybody. So today I've got a uh, Grizzly T27139 uh, trim router. Basically it's a quarter inch router. There's a lot of them out there. Everybody makes a quarter inch router. They're all different prices. Got all different features. Different jigs to go with them. You don't see a whole lot of Grizzly handheld tools. Grizzly is usually an industrial tool. You see it in any professional shop. So I figured they got the name. Let's see what they do with these little tools. So, for very reasonable price, I was able to get the router. I got the spindle here. It comes with an interchangeable fixed base and a plunge base. Um, very cool little attachment here. This would go uh, onto the uh, fixed base. And then what it does is it's basically a bearing if you've got. Um, bits that don't have a bearing you can then adjust this in and out to uh, if you want to uh, bring it in more or less to do like on circles curves it says for curves because they've got this one here that is supposed to run straight but realistically you could probably do this um, on straight ones uh, also I guess because the one thing uh, I found out uh, about this is that across from here to here on these screw holes in this base plate the bit is not directly in the center so if you're going to build any kind of custom jigs for this be sure to mount this and then plunge your bit through don't just assume that the center of the circle you put a hole and that'll be where your bit comes out because uh, this is definitely um, not centered across there so um, that's just the way it's made um, it's got a nice little, now it's dusty here in the shop, and I pulled this out, my hands are all dusty, um, but it's got a nice little uh, overmolded, um, it's like aluminum base, but with a nice little rubber handle there. Um, hard plastic on the handles for the plunge router, you know, it's not the most refined finish, you know, you've got this seam, I'd probably sand that down because uh, using this very much, probably going to get, you know, uh, some blisters because it's uh, kind of a sharp little edge right across there but the springs are nice and strong um, pretty uh, straight I mean there's a little bit of a uh, uh, sl slack in there but it's uh, not an unreasonable amount um, making plunge cuts pretty good you've got your thing where you can uh, actually put in a couple more little uh, accessories there um, got three presets you can set um, Again, it's a um, economical price. Uh, surprised at the price um, compared to a lot of the other ones. So this, to me, when I was looking at it, was significantly under your major name brand um, tools that you would normally think of for uh, you know professional to uh, um, advanced uh, pro consumer type uh, uh, tools, uh, but a little bit more than your Chinese, you know, because you can buy no name Chinese. Uh, for the price, again, I don't think you can find uh, more uh, options, you know, with the plunge and the fixed base. However, nowhere's on the box, nowhere's on the tool does it say where it was made. Um, on the manual, it says it's printed in China, but again, it doesn't say uh, where it was made or anything like that. Um, something I do like is there's a QR code here. That you could potentially scan for parts list uh, uh, support and manuals uh, is what it says I didn't try it but um, there's a QR code sticker right there that's supposed to um, get you to manuals which I love uh, not having to keep up with paper manuals because I won't so um, um, with that said features price and everything is great so here's the problem I have is I took this and put it in uh, the fixed base over here and went to test it out. wanted to know, kind of have an idea of what to say and uh, what features. You know, it's hard for me to point out, you know, like you've got the uh, adjustments. There's the um, measurements on here, but that doesn't take into consideration the blades. So really, it's kind of those measurements um, don't mean a whole lot other than you can see the little uh, marks um, 
you know, it's millimeters and standard um, that's made on here. And so whenever you kind of can roll this up and down, I need to go a uh, quarter inch more. I can roll that a quarter inch. Um, but the um, marks are, they are what they are. Um, but I made two cuts with this. I made one in a piece of uh, uh, three quarter inch, you know, one by uh, pine, uh, and two passes, uh, cut out a circle, and it worked. Uh, I went to do an eight inch circle uh, out of some hardwood, uh, dropped it down to about three eighths of an inch, and uh, made about a half of a, a circle, and it shut off on me. Just not that it bogged down, it sounded like the motor had plenty of power. It was going strong, you could hear it good and strong, and then it just immediately shut off. Uh, I took my temperature gun, checked the body, it was 80 degrees, which I, it's amazing because it's over 80 degrees, almost 90 degrees in my shop. Um, but this had been sitting from overnight and it hadn't yet warmed up as warm as it is in the shop. Uh, the brushes were at 93 degrees, I shot in through here. Uh, the highest temperature I could get was 93. Um, there is no thermal breaker in here. So that wouldn't have tripped if um, it had got hot. Uh, I called the warranty telephone number for Grizzly. Great guy. Um, you know, one of the things I liked, I told him, I was like, what happens? Like, I bought this in June. Here it is, uh, almost October. I've had it for four months, and I just now opened the box. I buy these tools all the time, and I, um, you know, half of them I end up never shooting video on. But, uh, you know, whenever I get a chance, I'll try to shoot a video. And so I explained to him it's been four months, but I um, went to use it for the first time. And the second cut, it just cut off. So he, you know, figured, okay, well, you're a person who knows tools. So have you taken it apart? You know, tried to brush us. I'm like, nope, it was brand new. Didn't want to avoid the warranty. You know, it was supposed to have a one-year warranty. If you read in the book here, it says... Take advantage of this warranty. Contact us by mail or phone and give us details. We will then issue a return number, which must clearly be posted on the outside or as well as the inside of the carton. We will not accept any item back without this number. Uh, proof of purchase must accompany the merchandise. No problem. I bought this on Amazon. I can go print out my order number. Well, you know, but he's like, let's see if we can uh, see what's wrong with it. I pulled the brushes. The brushes weren't even broken in, you know, um, all the way. They, um, you know, you can tell that the brushes were still brand new. And I had shot video of it, so I'm like, if you want to, I can send you a video of every second that the uh, router had ran. Um, I've got it all in raw footage. Um, so, you know, the switch, you know, like I told him, when it come on, it's coming on, it's running full strength, but then it's just shutting off. So, um... He's like, well, go ahead and take it apart if you want to, and we'll look at it. We won't void your warranty and see if there's a loose wire. Because I was uh, cutting a circle, which means, you know, you're kind of going around, and I didn't know if maybe, you know, moving the wire around. So uh, took it apart, uh, got my own meter out. We did some testing in there. Really didn't see anything. He's like, yeah, if you think it's maybe a potentiometer or something, I'll send you a new one. Um, you bought this through Amazon, so we can't take it back. Um, you know, you have to contact Amazon. They do the warranties through Amazon, which Amazon, you get a 30-day return. So I don't know how that's going to work. I haven't, um, uh, I don't know. It might just go in the garbage can, um, which is kind of sad since it's only four months old and it's maybe only cut uh, 12 inches uh, around of a piece of board. But because um, they said that they can't do a return since I didn't buy it from Grizzly, which is not what the... Um, Warranty here says, because um, I do have proof of purchase. It doesn't say a proof of purchase from Grizzly. It just says proof of purchase, and it was purchased from Grizzly through Amazon. It wasn't even like I was purchasing it through a third-party seller. This is a Grizzly product that Grizzly is selling on Amazon. So uh, that's another story. But anyway, so um, we took it apart. We couldn't figure it out uh, for sure what it is. But something I noticed, I'm going to see if you can hear it here on video. So as any time you're trying to show somebody something, it's not going to work. But when I was using this, I found that sometimes just when I picked up the router, it moved it around, that I could hear the motor speed up and slow down. So 
I don't know if that's indicative of the short, but here is the uh, first video I shot of me cutting a circle real quick. I had actually, the uh, reason I went ahead and pulled this out to make a video as a friend was wanting to show how I cut circles, but uh, I'll go ahead and let you uh, watch this. So as you see, the machine just shut off. Uh, I flipped the switch on and off a couple times, nothing. I uh, tried to uh, speed control, nothing. And then all of a sudden I flipped it on and it started working. Notice it just starts by itself. Now I'm starting to wonder what's going on. I haven't even made a whole turn and this thing shut off three times on me. So, um, then put the button in the car and it starts up again. Okay, so I put in a brand new um, bit, so we're going to try this out and see what it does. Okay, so this is just a little piece of hardwood, piece of scrap I had. Um, you heard it, as long as I turned it up on uh, full speed, uh, cut through it no problem. So, um, as far as routing, it's going to do fine. And again, you've got all the features. If I want to put in my plunge uh, bit, we got to uh, just line up the little marks here. And then now we got the plunge base going. So everything is a great tool as long as it works. So um, I'm going to contact Amazon, see what they have to say um, about the return. Although that's the only thing I'm not happy with is that there's something. I don't know if it's the uh, potentiometer in here that uh, wasn't making a bad connection, the switch, or there's some kind of electrical short. Um, that can happen on any product that's being mass produced, but you know, when you come out and, um, you know, you can't depend on your tool, you know, to me, that's not a, uh, a great tool to have. So, um, I'll, uh, get this video uploaded and if you like it, um, give me a comment, let me know. Um, you know, again, I'm not a professional videographer. So, uh, kind of tell me what, uh, if there was something that you were looking for in this router that I didn't show. I mean, I tried to show all the features, uh, 
Okay, we got the dust collection. Uh, the dust collection doesn't work with the plunge base. It's only going to work with the uh, fixed base, and it pretty much is going to uh, be almost a 100% uh, uh, um, cover over the um, hole. So it is going to get 100% of your dust out. Um, you know, especially I like the uh, compression um, bits. You know, you can. Um, I get this little pro series uh, the spiral cut and that way uh, a lot of times it's your bit if you want you got a good sharp bit uh, you see on this that was a brand new bit put in here as long as you got a good bit you don't have to uh, worry about the tool not being as uh, much horsepower because it doesn't have to go quite as hard it also comes with two extra brushes uh, these are just uh, basic generic brushes pick them up at Ace Hardware if you was to wear them out but um, um, so that won't be a problem. It's got easy access. I had already popped these off looking at the uh, original brushes in there. So um, overall, it's a good product. I would say if you get it though, try to buy it straight from Grizzly, not Amazon through Grizzly. The only reason I did that was because the shipping was a lot quicker. Um, however, I found that the shipping ended up being about the same anyway. But um, uh, thanks again and uh, tell me in the comments what I need to do better next time. Thanks.